All right, welcome back, everybody. This is Roy McQueen from NC Tech Lucians. Now, look, this is the second part of jQuery Mobile Toolbars Part 2. Okay, now you don't want to use the buttons in the header and footer as your main navigation, but only for quick actions such as saving or logging out. Mobile apps usually use tab bar for the main navigation structure. And all this is, is an unordered list wrapped inside a div with the data row set to navbar. And when doing this, it's always a good idea to use some standard mobile icons. So before we begin, let's revise a few things inside of our file. Okay, so the footer that we made in the last video, yeah, go ahead and delete that. And also delete this text above the button because I don't like the way that looks. Now let's take our header and remove it to the outside of our page and add an ID with the value of main. Now I know what you're thinking, you're like, okay, well, what are you doing? We just did all this work on the last video. Well, you know, you can easily create a persistent header in jQuery Mobile 1.4 that stays consistent throughout the transitioning from page to page. So go ahead and follow these screenshots. Now inside of our page two and our dialog page, we want to go ahead and delete the footer and also go to our page 2.html and go ahead and delete the footer in that page also now create two new separate HTML pages one called events and the other called news You can go ahead and copy the contents from page 2.html and inside the two new pages we just created, let's go ahead and paste the contents from page 2.html into those pages. Now go back to our index page and create a fixed footer with a nav bar and links to the new pages outside of our home page. So now we got three links total including the home link. Yeah, and now you see we use the icons and we prefetch these pages and also use three different transition effects. Okay, I'm gonna cover transitions a little bit later on but let's go ahead and move on. For, okay, so for every new page that we create, um, well, external pages that we create, we want to go ahead and make sure that the header and footer stay consistent just in case the page reloads. So what we do is we just copy the header and footer from page from the index page and go ahead and paste it in the external pages, you know, for um, just in case the page refresh, we still will have our persistent header and footer. Next off, you see the values of each link in our nav bar. 
for each page that that for each page that each link belongs to make sure that the page title attribute equals that value like say for instance okay this is the home link so on this home page the ID should be the same thing and we do the same thing for the other two pages also now we need to use a little bit of JavaScript to go ahead and update our navigation content and active status what this will do this will automatically set the header title of the page so you guys should already know or be familiar with JavaScript you know if you're already watching these videos okay so now let's go ahead and run this and see what we get first thing to notice is our header title hello world instead of it being home it's because we have a title tag in our head and at the bottom is our navigation toolbar that will stay consistent uh, when we change pages um, and you see we also have the active state also you can notice if you notice we still can have another header inside of our page but wait where's our logo alright so look all we have to do so on the first page just comment out this line of code now that we have our persistent navigation bar across multiple pages before we can move on to the next subject I want to quickly show you how you can also have tab bars as the navigation you don't have to do this as you know I just want to show you you know for you can always re refer back to the video to, to see this because what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the tabs how to do the tabs I'm going to show you how to do the tabs and then we're going to delete that and go right back to the persistent navigation so first we get rid of our nav bar and our footer and also replace the content part of our page with the tab code and as you can see it's just a div container with data row attribute set to tab and inside is a nav div container with the link to the content and you also notice we have disabled the Ajax for all the links or for this particular link then all of our tab content has its own div container which is inside of the tab div container what that sounded crazy didn't it that sounds weird don't it <laughs> alright so look now let's run it and as you can see the first tab is not an active state but don't worry about this we can always fix that with a little bit of JavaScript then when we click the second tab voila the active state is working and now we have our content and not now I should say I should say and we have our content okay so I'm not going to okay so like I said earlier I'm just gonna undo everything and we're gonna leave off at the persistent toolbar so we're gonna start from the persistent toolbar in the next video so I'll see you guys then